Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, if we have the broken power supply right here and the new power supply here, how is the system working? Well, if you are wondering that, then stay tuned after this clip. All right, so the way that we have the system working right now is we actually have a different power supply. Now, it's not one branded by the um, a high CU. It's actually a different one. We have a assortment of old power supplies right here, uh, like this one, for example. And all we had to do was we had to find one that had the same port as the broken one. We also had to find one that had the same output as it. Now, both of these have an output of 12 volts, 12V, 2.5 amps, or I think it says here, 2 amps. So these, all, all of these have 12 amps, uh, 12 volts and 2 amps, uh, as far as I, could, I know. And right now, we just had to make sure we have the right port. So, of course, this one doesn't have one. Comparing these two, let's see. Um, they look close, but I don't think they'll fit. Oh, wait, you compared this one. This one, definitely not. That's like an iPhone 4 charger. Um, and this one is too small. So, eventually, we found a power supply that actually works, which is down there. So, I guess now is the time to replace with the new one. And let's see if this works. Alright, so while I put it in, I'm going to talk about the uh, what we're doing right now. So, the company doesn't really... <laughs> I'd say that they don't condone this kind of um, replacing it with an off-brand adapter, but and it might void the warranty possibly if you do use an off-brand uh, adapter. But you know, my dad's an electrician. He, according to him, it really doesn't matter as long as they have the same output and same port. It really, what? The? This is not long enough. That was unexpected, and I wish you were here because if you saw the look on my dad's face... <laughs> this, like I said before, this isn't long enough. It's really not a problem. You can always use an extension cord, or you can go back to using the old one. Uh, the upside of this, we always try to look at the positive side, is that it appears that they sent us a um, power supply of a higher output, 2.5 amps instead of 2 amps, because the company wanted to avoid uh, burnout. So a higher output would lead to less burnout or less risk of burnout. So I think for now, we're going to try setting it up with the extension cord um, and see what it looks like. And also, I should correct myself. I said earlier, my dad was a electrician. Uh, he's not an electrician. He, he's an electrical engineer, which is a big difference. That is unfortunate, very unfortunate. And not, this extension is not even long enough to, uh, oh, just barely long enough, I guess. All right, so let me turn around. This around. This is the port for the old one. Let's compare it. You can see that, wow, they're exactly the same. Okay, this is the, this is the new one, by the way. Make sure I don't forget that. I'm gonna plug that in. After a while, it should turn on. You hear that beep, which means that's working. And I guess that, that's fortunate. I should recommend that if you do buy a high CU system, you might encounter, you might run into a problem like us. And in that case, I, I would advise that you buy an additional, not only NVR power supply, but also the camera system, the camera's uh, power supply, because they also have a power supply. So. Just in case they malfunction, it's always a good idea to have a second on hand. Okay, there we go. So it looks like the new power supply works. Um, it's booting up right now. There we go. That makes me happy at least. Personally, I believe that this incident shouldn't reflect on the whole product, or, or on the product as a whole, meaning that this product isn't a wholly bad product. 
I'm saying that this is just a minor incident and malfunctions can happen. If you see my auto repair videos, you know that some of the replacement parts that we get, most of the time they're aftermarket, and usually, or maybe not usually, they're defective. That's why they always have free returns exchange. So in this case, we actually noticed that this is um, not branded. It's actually a generic power supply. There's no brand on this. So it seems that they probably just got this power supply from somewhere, not in China, but it's probably made in China. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Uh, but anyway, you can expect these kinds of things with generic power supplies. They might not always work and they might not always be long. But as, with this product, you, I mean, just look at how many features it has. It has night vision, it has, it has, it has, oh yeah, we have a online setup already. So with a product like this that has so many features and it's also really cheap, uh, I think it was $228, how can you not expect something that might go wrong? And I gotta say, this only this minor incident is uh, very good because if any of these other features went wrong, I assure you we'd probably be returning it, but these ones have been working off right. And this is easy to fix. Uh, you know, you gotta put it into, into perspective because when we first got this high CU kit and we set it up, it was mind blowing. It was amazing. Um, and this was only a minor problem to us. It was a minor thing that caught us off guard, but we're still able to fix it. And we realized in that process of this breaking down that the customer support for this, I wasn't sure if I said this at the beginning, they're great. They're fast to respond. Uh, I guess you would say phenomenal. <laughs> so like I said before, um, great customer support. They have their contact info on their card. I'll also put it in the description down below if you can't see it. And um, I think we got, oh yeah, I should also mention, um, I pointed out the online before. We're probably gonna do a video on how to set up online in the future. Oh, and if you wanna hear my thoughts on why might this product be so cheap, check out my future videos. Now, let me clarify, when I say cheap, I don't mean the build quality is cheap. I definitely don't mean that. I mean that the product is inexpensive, like I said, $230. And I make a point out of this in my previous videos. But usually something like cloud would cost a monthly or maybe yearly fee to even get. So I wonder why would it be free? So check out my thoughts on that in a later video. But for now, I think this is the end of the video. So I'm Ayman and thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe and look at other videos on I and Ayman, especially on the high CU kit. And um, I was gonna, um, I guess, just, <laughs> all right, that's it. Okay, uh, I'm Ayman, peace out, signing off.